So you're wanting to use manual settings in video, but you're not really sure what shutter speed is and what it does to your footage. In this video, I'm gonna explain exactly what shutter speed you need to use to get the best video quality possible. You gotta just press record. Hey, my name is Nolan Molt with Think Media, and this is Camera Basics for Video. And today I'm breaking down shutter speed. Put very simply, shutter speed affects the motion blur of your video. Now to the human eye, when things move really fast, they tend to have a blur. If you go like this right now in front of your face, you're gonna notice that your hand has a blur to it. And when it comes to shooting video, we really want to replicate to the best that we can what the human eye is seeing. Now this standard rule for replicating what our eyes see into video is doubling your shutter speed from your frame rate. So if we're shooting in 24 frames per second, our shutter speed would be one over 48. Now a lot of these photography cameras don't have one over 48 but they have one over 50 and that's going to be close enough and so that's what we're going to use to shoot our video. This shutter speed is going to give us the most realistic or cinematic motion blur to our video. Now if you wanted to shoot something in slow motion like 120 frames per second then you would want to use the same rule which was double your frame rate so you would use one over 240. Now there's some vloggers and youtubers out there that definitely break this rule when it comes to shutter speed but I'm gonna show you what that does to their footage and why you don't want to use that but before we get into that like this video and comment down below what kind of camera are you using for your YouTube videos now a couple years back I remember watching Casey Neistat's YouTube videos and I noticed that he was not using an ND filter and when he went outside to darken his image because obviously it would be way too bright to darken his image he would use a really high shutter speed and this made everything really choppy so instead of seeing motion blur and fast movements everything would be in focus. There was not much motion blur. Now doing this just makes things not look as natural. You want to see that motion blur because that is what our eyes are used to seeing. And sometimes when things are really choppy and you're not seeing any motion blur, it might take you out of the video or out of the story. The other thing about a high shutter speed is that is actually going to darken your image. So for example, if you're shooting 60 frames per second, you would have a shutter speed of one over 120. And that is is going to darken your footage. The same as if you're shooting 30 frames versus 24 frames, 30 frames per second is actually gonna darken your footage just a little bit more than 24 frames a second would. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum, you might have someone who's using a shutter speed that is way too low. A shutter speed like one over 20 is gonna give you way too much motion blur where things that should be in focus are starting to be blurry. So if you're in a dark room and you need extra light, Yes, it's going to give you more light, but at the same time, everything is going to be blurry, especially if you're handheld. To find what shutter speed you're using on your camera, you can turn your camera on, open it to the manual settings, and then you're gonna see two sets of numbers. You're gonna see a one, a slash, and another number. And that is your shutter speed. And you're able to change your shutter speed. Uh, it depends camera to camera on how you do this, but typically it's set to a dial on the camera, or for me, I have it set to this wheel. Well now we know what shutter speed does to your image, but what really is shutter speed? Well if you've seen our aperture video, we know that light travels through the lens to the camera sensor, but the light just doesn't hit the sensor all the time. There's actually something inside your camera that stops the light from hitting the sensor. Shutter speed is what allows you to control how long that light hits your sensor for. When you have a high number in your shutter speed, you are having the light hit the sensor for a shorter amount of time. And when you're at a very low number on your shutter speed, you're having the light hit your sensor for a longer amount of time. That's why the low number gives you more light and then a higher number makes your image darker. When it comes to video users, all you need to remember is to double your frame rate if you want the most realistic cinematic images. But then again, don't be afraid to break these rules. If you wanna use a low shutter speed like one over 20, you can get a really cool kind of dazed effect as if you're almost about to pass out. And then you have people like Casey Neistat or vloggers who just crank their shutter speed to a really high number so that they can shoot outside and still get that blurry background. Yes, it's gonna make things more choppy, but it's almost become a vlogging standard to have that high shutter speed when outside. If you wanna learn more about camera basics for video, you can click on the screen right now to watch the playlist. Until then, I'll see you next time.